Today we're going to be showing you the complete beginner's guide on how to use the Amazon Echo Dot. In this video, we are going to cover how to set up your Echo Dot, how to use all of its different features to the best of their ability, and ultimately how to become an Echo Dot expert. Let's get started with today's video, the complete beginner's guide on how to use the Echo Dot. Once you get your Echo Dot out of its box, let's go ahead and get it set up. So the first thing you're going to need to do to set up your Echo Dot is download the Amazon Alexa app. So on your smart device, open up the app store and search Amazon Alexa. Then scroll down until you find the Amazon Alexa app and go ahead and get that downloaded. Once you get the Amazon Alexa app downloaded to your smart device, open that up and type in your Amazon account information. Once that is into the app and you have your Echo plugged into its power source, then go ahead and click the yes option for do you want to set up a device. So then after that, as it tells you on the application, you're going to need to make sure you have your Bluetooth toggled on. So if you're using an iPhone, you can just swipe down to your control center and then click the Bluetooth icon enabling your Bluetooth connections. Once that's turned on, it's going to automatically start searching for your Echo Dot. And you can see it found the Echo Dot right away. So once it's located, just click continue and we can start setting up our device. So you'll see it says to press and hold the action button on your Echo Dot until it turns orange. So that button is located on the back of your Echo and just press and hold that. You'll notice that the status light down on the bottom of your Echo is going to turn orange to show you that you have correctly pressed that action button. Once you do that, you can click continue down here on the bottom right corner of the application. And now it's going to ask you to set up your Wi-Fi network. So once you set up your Wi-Fi through the Amazon Alexa app and your Echo Dot is connected to a power source, it's going to do the rest of the work for you. And now you can see my Echo Dot is connected. So just click continue. And now we can select which room that we're going to keep our Echo Dot located in. So select where, whichever room you would like. You'll see you have so many options to choose from. I'll just do the kitchen for mine. And then you're going to be taken to this next page for setup. So select who you are. You can type in your name, your last name, or however you want your uh, Alexa to recognize you as, but type in your name there. Click continue. And once you click continue, it's going to uh, just ask you these permissions by uh, Amazon. So you can either set that up later or just click allow. And now you're going to teach Alexa your voice. So a voice profile enables Alexa to learn your voice, call you by name and provide enhanced personalization. So I'm going to go ahead and get mine set up and I suggest you do the same. So now that we have set up our voice recognition with Alexa, the next option we have on the setup page is if you would like to give your location to your Echo Dot. So if you want to tell the address on which you're going to have your Echo Dot set up at, your Alexa is going to be able to give you local weather, traffic information, and so many more things that are based off of your geographical location. So if you would like to give access to your location, just go ahead and enter a new address here or you can just skip this option by clicking skip. So you'll see here coming soon, you can help find things with sidewalk. So you can help your neighbors find pets and different important items connected to this feature called sidewalk by sharing the approximate location of this device. So this is another great feature that comes along with you giving permission to your Echo Dot's location and you have the choice to enable this or to just set it up later. 
After that, your setup is now complete and we can get started with showing you all the different ways we can use Amazon's Alexa. So let's get started. So our Echo Dot has four buttons on it. So the first one here is going to be the action button. If you remember, we used it earlier to uh, start searching for Bluetooth devices when we were connecting our Echo Dot to our phone or smart device. So whenever you need to use this button, you'll be prompted uh, to do so and it will be called the action button. So your action button is this circular button right here while the circular button up top with a line running through it is actually the button used to shut off and deactivate your microphone. So your Echo Dot is constantly recording any audio. That's how it's able to pick up on verbal commands like, hey Alexa. But if you ever don't want your Echo Dot recording you in the background, just press this button right here, the circle with a line through it, and it's going to turn red once selected, and that is to let you know that your microphone is shut off. When you want to turn your microphone back on, just press that same button and the red light will turn off. Now also, as shown in the manual, you do have the option to look at your voice history. So with that being said, if you are scared about your, or if you ever forget to shut off your microphone in a time that you wish your Echo Dot wasn't recording you, you can actually go back into your voice history and listen to all of the recordings, the audio, audio recordings that your Alexa was collecting. And then you can go back and delete any files or voice recordings that you don't want to be saved into the Alexa app. And then finally, you have your volume buttons here, the plus and the minus button. If you want to increase your volume, you'll just press this plus button and this minus button will decrease your volume. You can also just ask Alexa verbally to adjust the volume, uh, but whenever you need uh, to adjust volume and say you have your microphone off, you can just use these two buttons here. Now, since your Echo Dot is an incredible smart speaker, I want to show you how you can set up your favorite music services so they're linked directly to your Alexa application. So if you open up your Alexa application and you go to the Home tab, you're going to see this option to link music services. Now, once you click that, you'll see there's already a few options set up like Amazon Music, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, and TuneIn. But if you're subscribed to a different service or you have a favorite music service that is not one of these four options, it's no problem. Just click this link new service button and you'll see you have all of these other options that you can set up right on your Alexa application. Choose whichever ones that you want to set up and it's just going to ask you to type in your login uh, credentials and then right away that music service is going to become paired to your Alexa application. You can set up multiple services here. So you'll see I have four set up. So go ahead, set up as many as you would like. And now with just using your verbal commands or using the app directly, you can access all of these incredible music services right from your Echo Dot using Alexa. So as Alexa just told us, our Echo Dot is capable of so many different great things. To name a few more, you can access your music and audio books, get sports, weather, and traffic updates. You can even order from Amazon using Alexa voice commands or access your phone's contacts and do touch-free calling and texting. There's just so many incredible features using our Echo Dot. Let's try one of them out by asking Alexa a random question. Alexa, how many cups are in a gallon? One gallon is 16 cups. And you'll see right away, just by activating our Echo Dot using the voice command Alexa and then asking it a completely random question, right away, Alexa has the answer. Now, since your Echo Dot is an incredible smart speaker, I want to show you how you can set up your favorite music services so they're linked directly to your Alexa application. So if you open up your Alexa application and you go to the home tab, you're going to see this option to link music services. Now, once you click that, you'll see there's already a few options set up like Amazon Music, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, and TuneIn. But if you're subscribed to a different service or you have a favorite music service that is not one of these four options, it's no problem. Just click this link new service button and you'll see you have all of these other options that you can set up right on your Alexa application. 
choose whichever ones that you want to set up and it's just going to ask you to type in your login uh, credentials and then right away that music service is going to become paired to your Alexa application. You can set up multiple services here. So you'll see I have four set up. So go ahead, set up as many as you would like. And now with just using your verbal commands or using the app directly, you can access all of these incredible music services right from your Echo Dot using Alexa. If you have your Echo Dot set up in a bedroom, it works tremendously well as an alarm clock, and you can also customize some other bedtime and wake up routines that I'm going to show you how to access now. So if we open up our Amazon Alexa application and scroll down on the home tab to where you find, uh, in quotes, Alexa good night, we can click create routine here. And what we're going to do is set up a bedtime routine that we can access using an Alexa command. So let's open that up. And right away, you'll, you'll see that you can type in when you say Alexa, good night, Alexa will do an action. So you can change this to uh, whatever you want. Uh, just you can do Alexa, it's time for bed. And now when I say Alexa, it's time for bed, it's going to complete this list of actions. So by default, it has it uh, set up. So your Alexa is going to respond with good night and then automatically open up these sleep sounds. So it's music, which is going to be good to help you fall asleep. But you can take this even further by opening up this add action tab. And you'll see you can add all of these actions, which will be activated every time you say, Alexa, it's time for bed. If you have any smart home devices, like say uh, smart lighting, you can actually set that up by hitting this smart home tab. So you can make it so when you say, Alexa, it's time for bed, Alexa will automatically dim or turn off your lights. You can customize all of that and more by adding custom actions right there. So that's really it. After you have that set up the way you like it, just click this enable button. And now whenever you say that command, Alexa is going to complete those actions. So it's success. It says it may take up to a minute for the voice routines to activate, but now that it took me back to this page, that means it's all set and ready to go whenever I say that command when it's time for bed. Now, if you scroll down a little further to where it says wake up with a, with a laugh, we can actually set up a custom alarm noise uh, for our Echo Dot to wake us up in the morning. So let's click set alarm and you'll see I don't have any set yet. So if we click this plus button to add an alarm, you know, set it at whatever time you would like and then choose the device you want it to go uh, off on. So if you have your Echo Dot set up in your bedroom, just select your Echo Dot, but you can also use the Alexa application on your iPhone or whatever smartphone you are using if you don't have an Echo Dot set up in a bedroom. But for now, I'll set mine up for the Echo Dot itself. And then you can choose if you want it to repeat each day or weekly or however you would like. You have that option by clicking on this repeat tab. And then you can set the date. So if you want it to go off tomorrow, just set that date accordingly. And now we have a lot of different options for alarm clock noises. So have fun with these, listen to the different options you have and choose whichever one you like, or you can set up a custom one by using uh, these Alexa commands. So you'll see here, there's, you can have Disney characters, you know, by asking Alexa to wake me up to, to the Disney characters alarm tone. There's musical elements, minions, premium bird sounds, nature sounds, and so much more. So get familiar with these and then choose your favorite alarm tone, which will go off whenever you set it. Once you have that set up, just click save. And now just like that, we have a custom alarm set up as well as a bedtime routine. I want to take a quick break to invite you to join AppFind VIP, our email newsletter where we're sending out the best mobile apps and mobile games to be sent directly to your email inbox. Now, either use the link in the description or go to appfindvip.com. And once you're entered on our email list, you're automatically going to be entered into AppFind giveaways where we're giving out incredible gifts like iTunes gift cards and Google Play gift cards every single month. 
All you need to do is join our free email newsletter on appfindvip.com and you'll automatically be entered into our monthly giveaways. We can't wait to see you inside. Go to appfindvip.com or use the link in the description to join App Find VIP today. Now I'm going to show you how you can link and connect your smartphone to your Echo Dot, which allows you to do hands-free calling and hands-free texting, along as many other great integrations between your phone and your Echo Dot. So let's open up our Amazon Alexa application and go to where it says devices on this bottom menu here. Now click on your Echo Dot device, and then once that's open, you'll see that under wireless, uh, you can click on this Bluetooth device option right here. Now I'm gonna shut off my Bluetooth so I can start this process over from the beginning. And now once you have these Bluetooth settings open, you'll see that you can select pair a new device. So you can set this up to connect to a Bluetooth speaker if you want a louder sound system than your Echo Dot provides. But for right now, I'm gonna show you how to connect your smartphone to your Echo Dot. So let's click pair new device. And now my Echo Dot is searching for a Bluetooth connection. So now that it's searching, I'm gonna leave this application, go to my phone settings, go to Bluetooth, and you'll see that my Echo Dot is now showing up here. Now I'll just click that and automatically my phone is now connected to my Echo Dot. Connect it to iPhone. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my phone. And as you just heard, your Echo Dot is going to remember this Bluetooth device and it's going to stay connected until I go back into these settings, click on the paired device and ask it to disconnect the device. One of the key advantages that the Amazon Alexa has over its competitors is its ability to download custom skills from the skills in game marketplace. So if you open up the Amazon Alexa application, go to this more tab and open up skills and games, you're going to see brands have uploaded thousands of different skills that you can download onto your Alexa device. For example, if you want to be able to call Uber rides using voice commands on your Echo Dot, all you need to do is download the Uber skill and right away you'll be able to start accessing your Uber account from your Alexa Echo Dot. So you'll see I search in Uber and right away it comes up here. Now if you want to add that skill to your Echo Dot, just click this launch button. Then it's going to ask you to put in your personal credentials to link up your Uber account with your Echo Dot. And then right after that's done, you're going to be able to ask Alexa to ask Uber to request a ride or ask Uber to call me an UberX from work, et cetera, et cetera. But ultimately, the skills in games marketplace is an incredible feature because it gives you limitless options for different skills and games that your Alexa can learn and start utilizing. Lastly, I'm going to walk you through all of your key device settings so you know how to set up your Echo Dot to suit your exact preferences. So if you open up the Alexa application, go to devices and select your Echo Dot, it's going to open up your device settings menu. So right up top here, we can adjust our volume. You know, you could also just do it on the Echo Dot itself, but if you ever want to adjust the volume from your phone or from your Alexa application, you can do that with this sliding bar here. And alternatively, you can also adjust the bass, mid-range, and treble under these audio settings here if you ever want to make adjustments to any of those equalizers. So next, if you ever want to change the Wi-Fi network so you move locations, you'll just click this change button under Wi-Fi network under the wireless settings and you'll be able to automatically connect to your new Wi-Fi connection. You can connect, so I showed you how to connect your Echo Dot to your phone. You can also connect this to a stereo or a subwoofer as well as the different Alexa gadgets that are for sale. So if you ever wanna to connect to a different Bluetooth device, you'll just follow the same steps we did for, for our smartphone, but select either the stereo pair option or the Alexa gadget option. The next setting, tap gestures, is one I suggest you leave turned on. And all it does is it allows your Echo Dot to recognize touch. So say you have an alarm clock going off, a single tap on your Echo Dot is going to snooze that alarm. If you want to disable tap gestures, just click that button and it will toggle to disabled and click it again and it will re-enable those tap gestures. 
under the sounds uh, settings tab, you have all of these options here. So you can change your alarm clock uh, tone. You can change the noise that gets set off on a notification. So it's either the default tone or you can just set up no noise for when you get a notification. Uh, you can decide if you want incoming call ringer notifications as well as these different request sounds. Uh, and also you can change the amount of volume that is going to play for those different notification noises. So if I change this volume, it's not going to adjust the volume for the other capabilities of our Echo Dot. So say if you're listening to music, it's not going to change the volume by changing this. It's only going to change the volume for the different uh, alarm noises. So for these different notification noises. You can also select uh, to gradually increase alarm volume. I know this helps me a little bit getting up in the morning. So if you want your alarm to get louder as it goes off until you shut it off, you can do that by toggling that setting to on. Free time is a wonderful feature if you have children and it just allows you to set up different free time accounts for your different children, which allows you to pause their devices, set daily time limits on the amount of time they're using their Echo Dot, and then you can add and block different and various content on your child's free time device. So if you want to turn that on, just go to that free time tab and then enable it here. If you ever want to put your Echo Dot in Do Not Disturb mode, you can do that on this menu by manually toggling that on there. And you'll notice when I go into Do Not Disturb mode, my status light will turn uh, purple for a second just to show me that I'm not going to be getting any notifications besides my alarms and timers that I may have set. Now, if you want to schedule uh, your Echo Dot to go into Do Not Disturb mode automatically, say at nighttime if you don't want notifications, you can do that by setting up a schedule here and you can just choose whatever time frame uh, you want your Echo Dot to be in Do Not Disturb mode. Then this next one, the wake word, is you can change the, the word or phrase that you're saying to your Echo Dot to activate it. So earlier we showed you the default wake word, which was Alexa. So whenever you say Alexa, it's going to activate your Echo Dot. But for any reason, if you would like to change that, you have the option of Amazon computer or Echo to become your wake word. So you'll just select it like so, uh, click OK, and that will be the new wake word. Also, if you want to change the measurements, the default is going to be Fahrenheit for temperature and miles for distance, but you can go into this settings tab here and choose either Celsius or kilometers if you want to make an adjustment for your measurement units. So that's the most important device settings you want to become familiar with. So go get your Echo device set up exactly to fit your preferences and you should be good to go to be using your Echo Dot like an expert. I hope you found this video valuable on how to use Alexa and the Amazon Echo Dot. This was a complete beginner's guide on how to use the Amazon Echo Dot and Alexa to the best of their ability and should have gone over everything you need to know to make sure you're using your Echo Dot to its maximum potential. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite part of this video was. And if you did find this video valuable, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more great content coming out soon. I also want to encourage you to sign up for our email newsletter, App Find VIP. This is where we're going to be sending you the best mobile apps and mobile games delivered to your email inbox. Once you're on our email list, you're automatically going to be entered into our app find giveaways where we're giving away iTunes and Google Play gift cards each and every month to our lucky winners. All you need to do is subscribe to our free email newsletter using the link in the description or going to appfindvip.com and you'll automatically be enrolled in our monthly giveaways. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.